Hey everybody, and welcome back to Rival Zone Gaming and Stargate Timekeepers. Rival here, and after the last video we got, well, I screwed up. You guys didn't. It was all me. It was all me. It was all me. We know it was. Uh, right, so we've got to go back through this entire freaking yep. section again. I'm going to have to, like, you know, deal with these guys, save. Deal with these guys, save. We got all the way to here. Ugh. It's, gonna, I'm, it's just the way I'm going to have to run it. That's how I'm going to have to do it from now. Um, right. A few moments later. Okay, so we have to run, like, to here. Okay, so we're going to wait for... I'm going to save. Because we can. Use the save rifle. Use the power of the save rifle. Use the power of the save. Roger. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Let's go. Sprint, 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 And duck down. And they didn't see us, because I'm that good. I'm sure there's probably an easy way of doing that. We've got to hurry. Or SG-1 could be in serious danger. Maybe they don't need our help if this ancient tag is so great. We could just sit back and watch the show. We could. Ever the sniper, Max. We could. We could do that. We could sit back and watch the show. We're not going to, though, because, um, well, that's not how we do things. Okay. So we can sneak down here and round. You guys are looking there. You're doing over there, so that's fine. So we have to basically get to here and distract him while we get round. Let's have a look at these guys in here because you're very short range. Okay, so we can get into kind of this area and we should be safe. Yeah, if we get to here, we'll be good. Okay. Let's move. I'd like to know if there's like other ways. Because this does seem a bit like busy, but. Maybe this guy we can like take out his eyes or something, you know, blind him. Then get McCain to go up and knock him in the back of the head. These guys wouldn't see him. That wouldn't see him, so Yeah. We can we just need they've got one guard over there that needs to be taken care of. We'll go. You're annoying, but you're only looking up to there, so we don't have to worry about that. So it's this guy. Uh, hold that for a second. We can get to... Affirmative. Yeah. I mean, technically we can go all the way out to here, but I don't want to because this guy could see us. I'm going to save again. We've got the option. I do like that safe thing at the top. It's very good. Now you're going to walk down, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. We would have got spotted by him. Right on it. Good sprint, I suppose, but got it. Cool. 
Affirmative. Okay, so if we can, like, sprint past this guy, we could get to there, actually. He can't see there. All right. Um, can't do that. I'm too close to the stuff, I think. Roger. Let's move. Need something? We'll go. Got it. Here we go. Okay. Roger. Oh, snuck through there, didn't we? Oh, I'm at the edge of the map now. Okay, I can't go any further. That's annoying, because I really want to be able to get my people in the center of the screen. Um, Oscar Mike. So we've got the blind thing. Right on it. Got an idea? Sure thing. Let's move. Sure, no. Affirmative. Was, I've clicked the wrong button there, but it's fine. Roger. I clicked the wrong button. Now you're talking. Got it. Let's stay out of the way until he's done his rounds. I was expecting this to be a bit of a longer video. We'll go. Let's move. No problem. Let's get out of there. Right on it. Let's see. Cover me. Roger. Hey, come on! Lay down your weapons! I think I've got it. Cover your ears. I want to hear this. Let her rip. Oh, nice shot. Go team. Hopefully that'll buy us she wants some time. Let's move out. Enemies limited to 14 and 4. Well, doesn't really make a difference. Good job, though. Says it took 33 minutes. I don't think it took 33 minutes. Um, so... My video has been going for 13 minutes. <laughs> Let's get straight on to season, uh, episode two then. The Nubis has been defeated, but the Gua'uld threat remains. Following her valiant efforts in Antarctica, Colonel Eva McCain was assigned to the Lambda site, an off-world outpost of Stargate Command. From there, she leads operations in aid of Jaffa groups resisting the Gua'uld. The planet Hactyl is a base and refuge for female Jaffa who escaped Moloch's oppression. Cool. Guided by Ata, a scout in the Hactyl resistance, Eva is leading a convoy of supplies bound for a camp on Hactyl, when their journey is suddenly disturbed by an unexpected threat. Okay, so we've got Ata. Uh, Ata strikes with her Matok staff to stun the target. Ata spins her Matok staff, unleashing a 
A quadria powered attack. Nice. Tar throws an object, luring targets within earshot to its location. Atar steals supplies from unsuspecting enemy. I like Atar. Uh, Atar throws a non-lethal grenade, blinding all targets within range of the explosion. Cool. And a climbing rope. Atar drops down a rope that can be climbed by all team members. That's nice. We can use her to kind of get around. Stun grenade. Non-lethal grenade, stunning all enemies within range of explosion. Tactical lock. Anal uh, Eva analyzes a target, identifying their weaknesses and making them rumble to physical attacks. Nice. Okay. Uh, the wooded path. Dense forest shelters the way to the settlement on the Haktal. Uh, the resistance has set up traps and barriers to keep the path secure from unexpected visitors. Mo uh, Morlock's warriors. For the first time, the route has been blocked by intruders. Jafar still loyal to Morlock. It is not clear if they know Hakatal's inhabitants, but their presence is a threat nevertheless. Yes, it is. We should go and do something about that. Alskars turns red when hovering over an object of enemy. The selected skill cannot be used on that target. Okay. Currently on Stargate Timekeepers. SG-1 got it. The weapon of the ancients. That was above and beyond, Colonel McCain. We're forming a new team for operations with our Jafar allies, based on the Lambda site. We'd like you to lead it. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? All right, listen up. We're headed to Hactil. We'll be escorting a supply convoy to one of their camps. Isn't sending a whole team a bit overkill? We will provide a scout to help guide your way. Cool. How much longer till we reach the camp? I expect about two hours at this pace. All right, thanks. Hey, hey! 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 My sisters will be very pleased to receive these supplies. We greatly appreciate your generosity. No problem. We're happy to help. Hmm, we've stopped moving. Is there a problem? Colonel, there are Jaffa warriors on the path ahead. Moloch's men. They're blocking the way. Moloch? That's not good. Atta, can we change course? It might be possible. There are many paths through the forest. And we should need to find one then. What are our options? After this turn, the path divides. Okay, so we have options. The way to the right leads to the river. There is a bridge we can raise to cross it. It is strong enough to bear the weight. Okay. After the bridge, we can continue on a path that leads towards the camp. Otherwise, we can turn left. We shall come to a great tree with a hidden passage in its trunk. We can open it to let the convoy through. It takes two people on top of the tree to open the way. We must first pass through a clearing, then climb up. Okay. This could be interesting. I didn't know there was going to be multiple routes. This gives At a... that point, the path divides again. Oh my god. We can go whichever way seems safest. Either of them will take us to our destination. So, we have options. Let's scout the area and work out the best course of action. Wherever we go, our first priority is to secure the track. We can't let Moloch's warriors endanger the convoy. That is true. All right, let's go. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? Not that I know of. And I have lived here almost my whole life. That's what I thought. Well, your camps are well hidden, far from the gate, and surrounded by woods. If they're not searching for you, they might not find you. I hope you are right. Okay. Um, officially, this game just got way cooler. Multiple different routes. Okay. I was expecting, like, oh, you just have to go there. Blah, blah, blah. No. You can go right, and that will take you to the camp, and that's the quick, like, the quickest way you want to do the speedrun way. That's great. Wonderful. Done. Or you can go left, and then you open the string, and then it splits again. I said what now? Oh, 
highlight all interactable objects, enemies, etc. That is very cool. Heidi points. I like that. Uh, let's zoom out on the map. Oh. No, okay. I kind of want to... This, this is huge. That's climbing point, so you can get up to the tree. That's the path through the tree. Wow. I haven't even done anything yet. I'm completely like flabbergasted and stuff. Trap. You can straight through there. That's cool. I like that. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for traps. Resupply for the P90. Okay, that's what that is. So if we use P90 ammo, we can resupply it. Oh, there's a path through the... Oh, that's beautiful. I'm loving this. Oh, this is just, just huge. Huge, huge, huge. Right. I'm guessing it's just you two. Okay. Excuse me. Onward. Crouching bushes to hide from enemy sight. Enemies only see if you enter the same. So, hang on. Crouch in bushes to hide from sight. Enemies will only see you if they enter the same bushes. Okay, so if they enter the bushes, they'll see you. If the enemy sees you, you can hide in the bushes before they detect you to avoid raising an alarm. Cool. You can also hide enemies in bushes after binding or killing them. Hold shift, press left mouse button. To, um, yeah. Hide in while the bushes will move it from the map permanently. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Got it. I do like these little kind of noticey things. A fine idea. Let's move. All right. Understood. You guys are looking away, so we'll just Yes. Let's get you reading them. Go ahead. The turret can steal from enemies to charge her Matok staff or obtain toll card grenades. She'll also <coughs> automatically steal when killing or binding enemies. So she also steal conscious enemies by sneaking up. Okay. Roger. A fine idea. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. All right. Uh, let's use our super special tactical skill. That's so cool. Interesting. 
Indeed. I'm listening. Affirmative. I'm really enjoying this game. All right, let's uh, stick to the bushes. Understood. Part of me is going, we should take the right path because we know that's like fairly straightforward and stuff. But another part of me is going, oh, let's go find some stuff to get into trouble. Look, we've got all these little points around here. It's so much fun. Oh, you are an armored Jafar. Okay, so we're not going to take you out with just a punch to the head, are we? Right on it. Yes. Okay, so we've got that. You're annoying, but we can grab you from that bush there. We've got another guy here. Got it. Uh oh. And I didn't save. I didn't save. I didn't see that guard. I did not see that guard. I think we should start, like turn this on so we can see everything. Because it, it does make them a little bit more visible. Let's move. Indeed. I, thought, I like the fact she uses indeed. Roger. A fine idea. You know. We'll go. Let's go back to the uh, Christopher Judd. With uh, his uh, deed. No. Actually, you know what? Oh, he's got nothing on him. Onward. Ah. I shall. Let's get you over there. Ready. Meanwhile. Understood. A fine idea. All right, we'll do the uh, the attack thing. Got it. Get rid of the bodies. Yes. Roger. Yeah. Did not see him. That's annoying, but we can use the like a, a casing to distract over there. Get over it. Take this guy out, and then we've got options available to us. So we can start thinking about stuff. That looks like it should be a bridge. But it isn't. All right. Yeah, you guys. Let's move. Get into the, the stuff here. Well, my gut's saying take the quick route because, you know, we can clear this out. Rebuilt that bridge. And then we can go from there. Affirmative. Right on it. Sneak across. Beautiful. I do like the coloring as well. Makes it so much easier to see. Grab a save. What's that? I think they're like 
Yeah, hiding areas. Onward. <clears throat> Indeed. Okay. So we can go around here. There's a thing there, and I'm guessing hiding areas, things like that, points of interest. Objective type things. Maybe it's guards. It's guards. Okay, it's markers for the guards. Tells you where they are. Okay, so I've got no one over here at all. So we can get to there and find out what that is. What are you doing? You're looking that way. So we'll have to be sneaky. Oh, we've got another thing over here as well. Ooh, ooh, I'm just so much fun. I shall. Affirmative. You can use certain opportunities in the environment with shift left mouse button to neutralize enemies. In many cases, you can preview the outcome by holding shift and hovering over the light out, uh, highlighted object. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay, so it's going to throw and take out those two guards over there. Uh, let's just go you. Indeed. You can still multiple targets with a stun grenade. Press. Uh, throw all vulnerable targets displayed in the radius will temporarily be stunned with the energy attack, which should allow us to kind of. tie them all up. I guess we'd have to get rid of you first. Because that would allow her to come in from the back. Okay. Yes. We need to be able to deal with this guard. Now, you. When you come back, I mean, he does come back. I know he does. Does he go close to him? Because we can take him out with that as well. That's three guards. Do you get close enough? Do you get close enough? Why don't you stop there? I know you come back this way. You don't. You don't even come close. I hate you. You, Jafar, suck. A fine idea. What do you need? I need you to come Look here up. and distract this guard with a casing. Nistrach, onward. <clears throat> Understood. That seems unwise. Hey. Can't suck. Damn it. I shall. Oh. Maybe we should have left him. Surrender. We're hiding. Surrender. Oh. No, they saw her. Okay. That was a bit of a... Uh, yeah. Maybe we should deal with him first. We'll... Knock him out. Onward. Fine Maybe we should have gone this way instead. Shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah, you know. We could take you out as well. Yeah. 
Might be a good idea. I'm listening. Got it. That might not be a bad idea if we can kind of clear this area. How can I help? Indeed. Yes. I shall. Right, let's go grab that while we're here. Attack on lure enemies away from their positions. Press throw a decoy. When all targets within the display area will move towards it. Choose decoy by walking over to it. Oh, you can hit multiple people. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So, throw the decoy. And then knock them both out. Oh, that's nice. Indeed. Yeah, that that would definitely work. Understood. That was cool. That was very cool. I like that. I shall. All right, let's get you into indeed there. All right, let's try this this stun grenade what is thing. It? Roger. Let's move. Roger. All right, stun grenade. Got it. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, I've got to hide the bodies, right? A fine idea. I shall. Keep clicking the wrong button. He's actually in the machine because, of course, right he on is. It. All right. So, Blech. okay, let's do it. Affirmative. All right. I think that's all of them in this area. Let's head on. Nice. Nice. That is so cool. Um, but now I have to make a decision. I have to decide which way am I going? Am I going to the right? Which is pretty much the quickest route it looks like. Sort of ish. I mean, I think it is. Um, 
yeah, we race that bridge. Which... And then I think. Oh, no, that's where we're going into it. I think. I don't know where we're going anymore. <laughs> I don't know where we're going anymore. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm fairly sure people are going to want me to play this again. I could be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. Um, so I'm thinking there's going to be a... Well, we'll take the other route next time. Would like to point out, technically there is one other route. You can go right or you can go left. But if you go left, there's then two other routes after that. <laughs> raise the bridge, take the rightward path and raise the bridge for the convoy, or open the hidden passage, take the leftward path and climb the giant tree to open the passage. We've cleared this area, so now we just have to make a decision. Um, but it looks like we've got plenty of these things as well to kind of make us decide what we want to do. I'm tempted to go to the left. I really am. I am so tempted to go left. Because it's just that so much more options and stuff. There's so many more options as to what we can do. This that here. This, I mean, you assume there's something around here to kind of pick up, and look at. It's not on the map. That's the bit that's kind of getting me. This this section here is not on the map. I mean. I'm I'm assuming you have to get to here, then go up the rampway type thing. And then climb up. There is a resupply for the PP, uh, P90 there. Or maybe you just go around this way and then climb up and open the path. You, know, you just have to clear here. I don't know. What I do know is we're at uh, around 42 minutes, so I'm going to stop here. This is just going to be, like, nuts. I'm going to have so much fun with this game. Um, okay. Job's clear. We're going left. We'll go. I'm going to get us into the area, at least into some, like, hidey holes or something. Maybe I should deal with this armor Jafar first. Got it. The hidden passage is this way. Both of us must climb the tree to open it. Is the passage big enough for the convoy? Yes, I believe so. All right. Um, McCain. Affirmative. By default, armor Jafar are resistance to physical attacks and will raise the alarm of such attacks used against them. Energy attacks are effective against all targets apart from cool warriors. Attack can use her charged Matok staff to perform an energy attack on multiple targets. Okay, so you need the charged Matok staff to actually... Take him down. Okay. Right on it. I disagree. And there's a second one. Armor Jafar. Can you steal anything? No? No? Okay, I've got three, though. Oh, we can get another one off him. That's cool. Okay. I'm stopping here before I keep going, because you know I will, and it's just going to be like, I will never stop the video. And I need to because I'm hungry. All right, guys, that's what we're going to call it for today. This is a lot of fun. Um, yeah. 
I want to say thank you to Slytherin. I, they contacted me and said, you know, do you want to have a go at the demo? And that was great and everything, and I really enjoyed it. But this is just the second episode. I'm having an absolute freaking blast. I would like it when we get to like some bigger squads, because I know you do get up to a, like a full uh, Stargate team of four. Um, there's a technical one. There's, you've got your sniper. You've got your Jafar warrior. Um, and then you've got your kind of all-rounder with your, uh, your leader and everything. But um, yeah, I'm just having an absolute blast with this. So thank you to Slytherin. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I will be doing these one video a day. I know today you got two, but that's because I'm feeling generous. Uh, to those who are wondering about the Battletech series, I'm going to keep going there with that until it's finished. But this uh, is just out. You can get it on the Steam store. Enjoy yourselves. There's plenty of different ways to do the the, uh, the different missions and things. So go and play. Come back and say, Private Light did this. This worked for me. I'm mediocre. You know I am. So you might come up with some more advanced ways of doing stuff. But anyway, once again, thank you to Slytherin. Thank you, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. But until next time, you like to take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.